What is going on guys? This is Tom from Hollywood Studios. We're putting a different face behind the camera today because I am here by myself and we need that vlog content. So I am here. Today is Thursday, April 13th. We're at Six Flags Great Adventure. Batman and Nitro have been testing, so it's a great sign that they might open soon. Maybe not today. But uh, today I'll be riding solo for a little bit. It's very crowded. I'd be lucky if I can get maybe a few rides on Zoominjaro, but at least there's the food. So like I said earlier, Batman has been testing. It could be maintenance, it could be ride op training. So that's a good sign that Batman is at least runnable, so it should be ready within the next few days here. Nitro has been going more consistently cycling. There's a buildup of people in front of the line, but uh, who's gonna tell them that it's probably not opening today? So I'm sneaking back here to eat near Jersey Devil Barbecue. It's just a quieter spot to eat on a chaotic day. Uh, you can see the orange safety vests up in the station. That is most likely ride op training. So Nitro should be cleared to operate. It's a very good sign that maintenance is up there and that ride ops are up there training. Should be ready to go within the next few days. Like I said, when the park is really crowded, at the very least, if you have the meal plan, you can use that. So today I'm trying out the Carnitas Quesadilla from Casa de Quesadilla. It's across from the Dark Knight next to Batman the Ride. And honestly, these are pretty good. It's not something I typically go for when looking for a meal at the park, but it's not bad to try stuff when you have the dining plan. Um, if I had one nitpick, I'd say the cheese to carnita ratio is a little heavy on the cheese end. But other than that, these are pretty good. I would definitely recommend checking it out. Just so you can get a sense of how crowded it is at the park, I'm back here at Jersey Devil after my lunch. And it looks like it's got a really sizable line here. They're just sending a train now. But you can see this first queue house is entirely full. It's about to stretch back into the second one too. So you're in for a long wait if you want to ride Jersey Devil. Hey guys, Colin jumping in here real quick to point out something Tom didn't. Watch this clip of Jersey Devil very closely. This may be the fastest I have ever seen the ride run. I mean, this day was extremely hot out, but man, it is flying through that layout. I've never seen it run like that. I remember even hearing from a few operators it was running abnormally fast. So let me know down in the comments if you agree that it's running super fast, hence the name of the video. You know it's bad when even rides like Storm Chaser have a line that extends far uh, beyond the ride footprint. I was about to say beyond the queue, but it doesn't have one to stretch past, but uh, still a pretty sizable weight for this too. I guess in the meantime too, we could take a look at Barnstormer's construction progress. Not much has changed in the last few days since we've been back here, but like I said, this ride area looks great. It's incredible how much it's turned around, being that the old theater was here. You wouldn't even tell if you didn't know. So props to the creative crew here at Great Adventure for doing an absolute great job with this so far. Hopefully it's open soon. Complete sidebar, but I just heard this little kid, probably couldn't have been older than five, say, I'm never going back to Great Adventure again. So uh, that's neat. As I'm passing this massive line for the Dark Knight that the app says is 40 minutes, I remember that I have skip the line passes, so those are definitely gonna come in handy if I wanna get on anything. Looks like Wonder Woman is cycling empty, so maybe it was just closed for a bit, but that's a prime skip the line candidate right there. So Metropolis is slammed. You saw what the Wonder Woman line looked like. Cyborg's got a sizable weight too. And Justice League surprisingly is only up to the door of the building, which is really shocking. Uh, my flash passes aren't loading. Like I can't even get on the website, but I can get everywhere else fine. So I guess I'll just have to find somewhere better in the park with data connectivity. So let's try that. I'm thinking it's an issue with Great Adventure's flash pass site because I'll have Colin put a screenshot of it up here. All you're seeing is just the text on the site. No icons or pictures or anything are loading. So it must be an issue on the park's end with the site. Hopefully they get that fixed within the next few minutes. I'm not staying much longer, maybe not past another hour, 
So uh, if they can fix that and I can get on some rides, that would be awesome. Uh, in the meantime, I'll just take a look around and see what the other lines are looking like. It's going, Porky. Got a little side wave there. That's always fun. Update on the season pass situation, or rather the flash pass. Uh, I went to the flash pass building. They have these little signs on the walkway with a QR code. I tried to access the site by scanning that. It took a couple seconds, but I was able to load in through there rather than going through the app. So I have some skips right now. I've redeemed half of mine. I have one coming up for Justice League and one for Wonder Woman. It looks like Wonder Woman's back open. So probably hit Justice League first and then work my way down. So theme park etiquette 101, if you're deciding to ride something, maybe don't stand right in front of the entrance with your large group, making up your mind, cause it keeps people from getting through. But other than that, we are through, look at that. So I'm so glad I had to skip the line because the line is this far back. It's probably about a half hour to a 45 minute wait. So I'll be skipping literally all of that. Anyway, kiddos, the chaos just one little container of laughing gas can cause to a highly populated area is just a well disparate Trust me, instead of fighting it, you'd be much better off going home and waiting for the crowd of fun to waft in your windows. So it's nice to be in a cart that doesn't have Colin, Phil, and James and all of them because then you wind up winning. Uh, 257,000 with half the effects not working, that's pretty good. That is also the face I'll be making when the Devils beat the Rangers in round one. Wonder Woman is next. Just got done on Wonder Woman and Justice League. Used two of my four skip the lines. Honestly, I might end it there because I see on the app that Zoom and Jar is closed. I also haven't seen it run all day. So I might settle for just a Justice League and a Wonder Woman ride in my short little visit here, but I'll keep you guys updated. Not sure if you can see, but Skull Mountain's weight is well into the tunnel here. So definitely won't be riding that. Uh, the Skip the Line line also doesn't really let you out in a decent spot. So the station will be jam packed and you'd still have to wait through that. And I just don't have the time today, unfortunately. So might have to skip this one today. I was going to stop by the freestyle machines at Yum Yum, but the lines for those are absolutely abysmal and I would rather wait in a line like that for a ride. So no freestyle today. I will have to settle for a default beverage. It looks like that's going to do it for my visit here to Great Adventure. Wasn't going to be a long visit from the start. Lines are long. Crowds are high. This is all stuff I expected going in. So I'll happily settle for a ride each on Wonder Woman and Justice League plus a meal. Hopefully I'll get to do more next visit whenever that is, but that's gonna wrap up the video here. If you guys liked the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, guys.